This podcast is designed to give you a brief tour of the Desire to Learn homepage and how to find your courses and access the information inside of those courses. This is known as the institutional homepage and this is where there is news published by the college itself. This will not be in news about your courses specifically, but more broad general information will be posted here. You can always come back to this page no matter where you're at inside of Desire Learn by clicking on the My Home page. Next to that is an item called Select a Course, and if you click on it, you will see all the courses in which you are enrolled. The next item is the Notifications area. The first one, if you click on it, shows you the pager, which is the instant messenger system within Desire to Learn, and then also a link to email. The email within Desire to Learn is only set up to send mail. You will check your mail by using the college's vol mail system. The next icon is a link to any notifications that you have based on notification settings that you can configure. And then the next one is show um, any messages you have or subscriptions to discussion forums. Then is a link to your profile. It's got a pull down. The profile area provides a place to um, put in more information, uh, any social networking type things that you want to include. Just a warning, these will be available to everybody on campus, so do not put any information on this page that you do not want accessible by everybody on the campus. You may also put a picture in here by clicking on change picture, and the system prefers pictures that are square so a 200 by 200 pixel picture would be ideal. If the picture is not square, it will adjust it, so it may not fit exactly the way you want. So you may want to look into cropping any images that you upload. There's also an account settings link. And this is where you can change the font style and face. So if you're having trouble reading or you prefer a different font, you can adjust that here. There's also a tab for adjusting the preferences for discussion, and you can send email from here as well. The progress link is next, and there are other videos that will show more detail about each of these items. The logout, you click on this logout link, and that will log you out of the system. The blue area here is known as the navigation bar, and the first link is to content, and that will take you to the content within a specific course. Then you have a communication pull down. You're going to find different options on these depending on your course. If your instructor is not using one of these tools, they will probably turn that item off so it does not show up on this list. You also have assessments. and this is where you can find your grades and then there's additional tools here I mentioned you could see your tool your grades here under assessments the grades are not showing up here because there is no grade book on the institutional homepage you actually have to be inside of a course to see the grades there so let me go ahead and go inside of a course And this is the introduction to online using Desire to Learn. And this student has already completed the orientation. But what I want to show you, especially anytime you go into a completely online course or a hybrid course at John A. Logan, you should be able to click on the content page and find some course information, either a module or maybe right above the first module you may have a course information area and when you click on that you should be able to click find in these four documents instructor information syllabus course objectives and policies and this should tell you everything you need to know to get started in the course instructor information has how to contact your instructor 
the person's qualifications as well as office hours and you can navigate the through these by clicking next and this will take you through each item within the um, course information area next there should be a link to the syllabus any textbook information including um, the ISBN number so you can order that book make sure you have it the correct book by having the correct ISBN number any additional materials required or software required for the course would be listed here and you can navigate back to the module to see all the items by clicking on the module name in the uh, breadcrumb trail uh, the next one would list any course objectives how the course is evaluated and how the course is structured as far as a weekly or a module basis and then there's a link to some policies for the course beyond that you'll find the instructors uh, content for the rest of the course showing up to get back to the home page for the course you click on the course name up here and as I mentioned the calendar does not display when you first open it so you need to click if you want to see any items on the calendar you should see indication of due dates here on the calendar below that is upcoming events and anything any due dates that are coming up will show on that this is a self-paced course so there are no upcoming events or due dates listed for this course the news items will show up here on the right hand side and after you've read a news item you can click on the X to close that item and then to navigate back to the home page after you've watched this movie the first time you can go ahead and twirl the shut using the icon here in the upper right corner of the widget when you click on that it will close it anytime you want to see the video again you can just twirl this back open and play the video once again